Kanske fan meningen oh, Att jag skulle fastna här ikväll Måste ut, måste bort Ta mig härifrån När du såg mig under ljusen Du startade en eld i mig Och vi satte en väg ut Lämnar över all kontroll Jag gillar what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so today we are finishing up deep cleaning my home for the spring we already decluttered and organized we deep cleaned the bedrooms the living rooms and today we're actually going to be tackling the dining area and also the kitchen i'm going to be going through and deep cleaning my freezer and fridge we are going to be wiping down all of the surfaces deodorizing steam mopping all of the things so today's video is definitely filled with tons of cleaning motivation for you guys if you missed some of my previous spring cleaning videos, I will have those linked down below. We started with decluttering all of our clothes and all of the things, and then we started deep cleaning the living room, both of the bedrooms, and that's where we are just finishing up in the kitchen and the dining area. Think of this as your like spring cleaning checklist, um, because I know many of us are really getting excited about the warmer weather and really just starting to prep our home for the springtime. So use these videos to kind of help guide you and and if you're not quite sure what to tackle, all of these videos are definitely going to kind of like help you create your to-do list. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe and let's get started. While that deodorizes, I figured I should tackle something that I haven't had a chance to get to in a really long time. Um, and that is fixing one of our picture frames that goes up on the wall that you guys see. One has been missing for a really long time. Um, and that is because these little, um, what's it called? I don't even know what they're called but these little pieces right here are just so small and the screws are so small as well and I think the holes that I had created originally kind of aren't working anymore so I'm going to see oh some of this popped out already I'm going to see if I can use a hot glue gun to put it in the hole and then get the little screws to stick hopefully that works and then we can rehang this back up there also on the front there is a little bit of a crack i don't know if you guys can really see that i do have an extra one so i'm going to see if i can kind of take that out as well i base i did use oh yeah there we go so i'm going to pop this one out and then also just place the new one in as well Case scenario, plan out in your head how it's all gonna go. So you think you got it covered, but there's always something new that you discover you've not thought about. You can never figure out every possible outcome, and you're so scared you'll get it wrong. Have a good time, but don't worry after. Petrify will they think I'm awkward when your brain's wired for disaster. Even good things leave a bitter taste. Try to calm down, thoughts spinning faster. Terrified, hide it with laughter when your brain's wired for disaster. Even good things leave a bitter taste. 
Even good things leave a bit of taste, yeah. Even good things leave a bit of taste, yeah. Even good things leave a bit of taste, yeah. Even good things leave a bit of taste. Something unexpected happens. You can let it go, caught up in your own distractions. You already know that you're gonna think about this for a while. All right, so I was able to fix the frame, which I'm really, really excited about. I actually kept all the pieces when I had originally made it in case we ran into issues like this, but I did use all of the little hinges. That's what they are. I used all of the hinges and I think those screws are just so tiny. It's definitely hard to keep up with them. So if anything, I'd probably have to purchase some more, but I was able to make it work with the hot glue gun. I think it's going to work. Um, you guys also did see the massive bag of markers that was originally on the table and Riley and I have been loving coloring recently. Like we just will like sit there and just color for like hours and it's just really relaxing in a way for both of us to bond because that's something that we both enjoy so I'm going to let it deodorize um, the rug to deodorize just a little bit longer then I'm going to vacuum that up and I wanted to switch the pictures out um, with some more of like recent pictures that we have been coloring lately add a little bit of color to the wall all of the things um, and then we will just continue to pro then we will just continue the process of deep cleaning One of the things that I absolutely love about these frames is the fact that I'm able to display all of her artwork in a more modern way. I know back in the day we used to always put everything on the refrigerator, but I just like the fact that it almost feels as if we are creating our own art gallery where we can just easily switch things in and out. And this was a fun DIY that I had done maybe about a year ago i can't even fully remember but it was definitely one of the best diys i possibly could have done and riley always gets so excited seeing her artwork up on the wall Once I was finished in the dining room, I wanted to head over to the kitchen and at least start deep cleaning a little bit in here. And this time I remembered to tackle the microwave first before even touching the stove top. This way, in case anything fell down, I knew that I was going to be tackling that second. Um, by this time, I was also a little bit kind of tired of like cleaning. It had been a long day. So I wasn't quite sure how much I was really going to be able to get done, but I did want to at least start on the kitchen.
we are starting early today guys it was a friday my job was closed riley still had school so i dropped her off came right back and started to tackle the rest of the things that i had on my to-do list so i'm starting off by deep cleaning the stove top and then i'm going to move on to all of the other items that i had on my list All right, so now that we have cleaned the microwave and the stove, I now wanna just tackle the freezer and then also the refrigerator. I have um, a couple of dishes that are in the dishwasher, but I don't wanna run it just yet because I'm pretty sure there are gonna be some things that need to be washed after going through this. Now, no judgment here because my freezer is a hot mess. The fridge is a little, it needs a little bit of help as well. Um, what I wanna do is take out all of the drawers, actually wash them in the sink, and then we will kind of like deep clean the, the drain because I feel as if like during the spring time when you're transitioning into like a new season, that's typically when you'll start seeing like gnats and all of those things and where are they coming from? They're coming from the drain. So. First things first, we're gonna go through the freezer, then the fridge, clean that out, declutter. There's a bunch of stuff that I need to throw out. Um, and then hopefully it just adds more and creates more room in there just because there's probably things that I haven't used or could be freezer burn or, you know, you know all the things. So that is what we're gonna tackle next. As I was cleaning today, I decided to watch some of my shows on my phone and I have been getting back into Grey's Anatomy. I actually never saw it from the very beginning. I kind of came in midway and I decided, you know what, like there really hasn't been that many good shows on TV lately. And I just want that like kind of like old school, good feeling shows where you know, I don't know. I am just looking for something good to like binge watch. So I started from season one, episode one, and I think I'm now in season like five or six. And it's really nice to see how like they incorporated or brought certain people on and how certain people left because I didn't even know that stuff. But it was just a nice little distraction to listen to and watch while I was getting some cleaning done. Take your time and 
All right, so here is the finished look of the freezer, a complete 180. Um, I don't want to really use too many bins in here. I don't really think it's necessary. Maybe it's just because it's like an older fridge and I feel as if it's just going to add more clutter and take up more space. So I just tried to put like-minded things together. We have all of our veggies. Then um, these two items are just clearly things that have to stay in a box, like with her Ilios pizza and all of that kind of stuff. Then we have some smaller pizzas down here. All the chicken I get from Costco, you know, every three, four months or so. Um, all of our ice. And then this bin is kind of just a mix of different things. So I like to get um, Riley some ices during the summertime and it's easier just to keep them in like a kind of bin like this because they're all together otherwise I feel as if they'll like just fly everywhere and then on the door is just going to be everything that we grab and use on an everyday basis like you know french fries um fruits for smoothies her hash browns all of the things so definitely looks a lot better Moving on to the refrigerator, it's definitely messier than the freezer was. I feel as if for the most part, the freezer was just more like cluttered and there was no like system in place. But with the refrigerator, I have been using the bin, so it's a little bit more organized, but there definitely are some foods in here that have gone bad and I definitely do need to clean those out. There, these two containers I'm going to throw out and then throw those into the dishwasher. This needs to be thrown out. Um, I had some extra like Caesar dressing packets. I'm going to throw that out as well. Put the container in the dishwasher. This needs to be thrown out. This as well. Um, Riley has her little beauty products in here, her skincare stuff. So what I was thinking about doing is maybe putting it in here. This is a container I got from the Target dollar section um, and her little face masks and then possibly just sit this to the side. And actually I might even do the, the little eye masks here too. I think that would be good. And then this is like, I don't even think this is good anymore. So I'm gonna throw this out as well. So throwing out, washing containers, and then I'm going to put this back in the fridge and I'll show you guys what the finished look looks like. You know that I'm the queen of overthinking It's like we're done before we even started So if this is the end now, baby Know that I gave him my all I'm leaving us I won't give up on you I will Thankfully, a lot of the food that was in these bins was actually still pretty good. So it also helped remind me of what I still had in there. So I'm gonna just try and come up with certain things that I can make for dinner, kind of like a throw together dish where you kind of just add a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I'm definitely good for that kind of stuff where you 
it's no specific recipe you're just like putting things together before any of it goes bad so by doing this step by going through decluttering organizing the refrigerator it's also allowing me to see everything that's in there so that I know what I need to cook before it does actually go bad These doors are going to be the death of me. I know that you can always just put something down to keep the refrigerator door open, not so much the freezer door, but there does need to be some type of like setting where you can kind of just keep the refrigerator door open when you're cleaning it or you know restocking or anything like that i feel as if like we should be there then again this is an older fridge so maybe with the newer fridges there is that option All right, so we are finally finished cleaning out the fridge. It looks a lot better. Um, before I had a bunch of stuff just sitting up at the top and everything was a little bit of a mess, but now it's pretty cleared out. We have room. Um, I also need to really get to the food down here. That's just stuff that we've made throughout the week. Um, and then whether I wanted to make it for Riley's lunch the next day whatever it is um, but we definitely have a bunch of leftovers that we do need to eat before those go bad um, the biggest thing was definitely cleaning out the bottom drawers pulling those out you guys already saw that was a mess and the door actually looks a lot better as well all right so we are almost done I just want to go in wipe down all of the appliances we're going to deep clean the sink I'm just gonna put some baking soda and vinegar down that and then I want to steam mop the floor oh also um since I took out the trash I'm going to just clean the inside of the trash um and wipe that down as well and then we are just going to call it a day already have the dishwasher going and then I also even have um this stove warming up because I have not eaten and it is 12 o'clock right now and your girl is hungry The last thing that needs to be done is to wipe down all of the appliances and apparently my camera was not recording when I had wiped down the stove and also the dishwasher but you guys see me wiping down the refrigerator and then I'm going to be cleaning out the trash cans it wasn't really bad there wasn't anything that had spilt in here um, this is a newer trash can but I did want to deep clean it anyway and then I'm going to steam mop the floors and then also deep clean the sink drain I'm
So that is it for today's spring deep clean. I hope you guys found this to be helpful and motivating. I will have all of the other videos linked down below for you guys as well. If you made it this far in the video and you haven't yet subscribed, make sure to subscribe, like, comment below, and I'll catch you guys right back here in my next video.